I wanna share with you a tool that will never let you miss a mint again, it will never let you miss a great bargain again, and it'll mean that you never get outbid again. I'm talking about Cyberbox and their upcoming tool. Now look, the first tool that Cyberbox did was a sniping tool. What it would do is it would scrape the metadata, it would then um, kind of do the reveal very fast so you could actually gonna pick up a great deal. That minted at 0.6 um, sort of on the whitelist, sort of uh, beta, um, and then 1.2. And you can see here that the floor price is currently 2.15 and it's actually got some volume in it so it shows that um, it has actually worked and the nft has actually gained in value hey hey hey! real quick scroll down make sure you hit up that subscribe button okay let's kick on so when it comes down to what they're actually releasing this time is they're kind of expanding on that repertoire expanding on that um, the collection of tools so i've been given a look at what the devs are actually working on right now because it's going to be releasing soon so with the auto mint the way that the auto mint would work is you'd go up here and you'd be like set up auto mint the idea is that you can then put in the contract address now side note this doesn't work on sort of pre-sales this works on the public sale so you would then put in the contract address you then put in the ETH value you can put in the gas limit of what you want to kind of uh, spend when it comes down to gas and then you hit pre-sign now what's crazy is this will bring up and you essentially kind of sign it what this does it essentially puts you in the queue ready to go so when it goes from a sort of private sale like the whitelist sale pre-sale flips over to public bang you're in there first Good to go so the idea is this can actually work on those kind of uh, on those hyped mints um and you can actually kind of run in and front run everyone else because when it goes hey public sales live and everyone has to go to the website they have to refresh they kind of have to kind of um click how many they want to mint what they want to spend all that you can literally have your thing good to go so the idea is you can actually kind of put this in go to sleep wake up and you've got the nft in your wallet which is absolutely crazy now the next one i want to touch on is auto buy what you then do is you hit up set up auto buy. Now, what you can then do is you can then select a collection. Now, let's make it fun and we'll go to Board Ape. So when you hit up Board Ape Yacht Club, what you're able to do is you can actually choose how you actually want to make a purchase. So just say you want to snipe one uh, at a particular price. So you're like 35 ETH, that's where I actually want to buy one. So the idea is that when someone lists it, for um, 35 or below ETH, what this will do is it will execute on you, um, which is cool. But what you can then also do is you can also choose uh, sort of like uh, particular IDs that you actually want. So between uh, like, yeah, essentially the, the mint numbers, or you could also hit a ranking. So you could do um, a particular ranking. So you could essentially go, hey, I want a top 10% ape or top 10% Azuki. I wanna spend this much which will then execute that trade for you. So you don't need to be sitting there. You don't need to be hitting refresh on OpenSea. You can literally set this up, get it going, and it will buy for you, which is crazy because it means that you can determine where you think those bargains are, where you think the arbitrage opportunities are, set all these up so when someone wants to come in and get them. This is why when you've seen really great deals, people scoop them up because people have tools just like this. Now, the next thing that I want to touch on is the bidding. So this is called auto bidding, um, but it's kind of essentially how you get those um, spam um, bids on your NFTs that are kind of undercutting. So the idea is what you can then do is well, let's pick something, let's go doodles. Now the floor price is currently 14. So what you might want to do is like, okay, let's put out some bids on 10 ETH. What you can then do is you go, okay, it doesn't matter. Let's just get a top 50%. You want to put out a bid of 10 ETH because you know there's going to be some, uh, an arbitrage opportunity there. And essentially what this will do, it will then send out those bids. So it's bulk bidding to then see if someone will actually take an offer from you. So this could be good because if you find um, a particular arbitrage opportunity that you would like, instead of having to go through and manually kind of finding them, selecting them, putting on these bids, put this out there, it'll find them all for you and it'll put those bids on you and hopefully someone will take it and you can then uh, essentially get what could be a bargain or a deal. Now this would then work out well if you were trying to get a top 10% um, or a top 5%, but what you would then do is actually offer above floor price. They think that they're getting a deal, um, which then means that you could actually end up with an arbitrage opportunity because you've actually put in an offer like that, which I think is really cool. Now, what they're also doing, uh, what they're rolling out later on is they're also doing some auto bidding in the sense that it can actually kind of um, bid on a collection and then, or a sort of singular item. And then what happens is if you then uh, outbid, it'll keep placing bids for you up to a particular cap, which also, helps out with 
uh, sort of not missing out on an auction, uh, which is good because there are some times where you wish you could just be there and just kind of keep bidding on, which I think is nice because it'll mean that you're essentially going to have the last bid as long as it's within your price range. They're also going to be having Flashbot integration. Now, what a Flashbot is, and I apologize because I'm not um, the biggest of tech dudes, the idea is that it'll help you kind of get your transaction, like get it into the block faster and actually get your transaction uh, essentially because it's in that block approved faster, faster than anyone else. So it means that if you are kind of sniping, you're more likely to get it. But then also if you are unsuccessful to also save you on gas. Now, when it comes down to the supply and price, they are doing a public, well, kind of like a whitelist of 69 at 1.969 ETH each. Now there is going to be a total supply of 300 um, that'll be capped at, but this isn't going to be uh, like a sort of a whitelist and then they're doing that um, the rest of the supply because there are people that have bought into the existing collection um, that will have the opportunity to mint. So this is going to be um, like a cap supply, but we're not sure of where it'll kind of play out because there are people here that will have the ability to be sort of whitelisted and kind of mint it themselves. But when it comes down to the 300, I've spoken to the founder and what he said is that the they're not kind of going to release on the market. They're going to make sure that the demand is there and to ensure that it can kind of be rolled out in a sustainable sense because if everyone has these tools, then it's kind of going to make them less effective because everyone will be kind of trying to compete against each other using the exact same tool. Now, real quick, touching on the founders. Fully doxed, so you've got um, Adam, and then you've also got Robert. You've got their LinkedIn, so you can check out their LinkedIn, which I think is cool. Um, they're kind of transparent, and what they really want to do is just create a really cool sense, uh, just a really cool set of tools and a really cool sense of community. Now, with that mint price and that supply, they're actually also doing a subscription-based because I know that two ETH can kind of seem like a, a bit much, especially when you're not sure if you're actually gonna get value from the tool or not. So with the subscription, it's gonna be between 0.4, 0.5, uh, sort of per month, but the idea with this is it'll be dependent on the price of ETH. So if ETH goes up really high, then the price will drop down. If ETH kind of drops really like far down, then it'll kind of stay at the price that it is. They've thought about it in terms of fiat value. So to make sure that they're not kind of sort of um, uh, charging too much because they want it to be somewhat fair. So the other difference between the NFT and the actual subscription is that with the NFT, you're actually going to have uh, access to this sort of like alpha group and they've got like sort of competitions and things like that in there. Um, and then I'm sure as the brand grows, they'll also kind of essentially get whitelist spots, things like that. Um, but that's just kind of me speculating on how the brand will kind of grow. I know people that are in Cyberbox, I actually use um, Cyberbox myself or try to attempt to use it because it, uh, reveals happen at poor times for me. But people say great things about it. People have made some great flips on it. So this is a tool that people have seen value on and they're just building on this existing tool to then ensure that you've got something that can work out really well. I'm really excited for this project. I really think that this uh, will be really good in my uh, sort of toolkit because the idea that you're able to kind of set buys so that if someone does underlist, someone kind of fat fingers a listing, you're able to uh, to scoop it up because you've actually set that um, preset in there and it's gonna run. I also like the auto buying, like the auto minting. The auto minting is great because there are times when there might be a, a window where the public sale happens at three or 4 a.m. and you're kind of like, is there gonna be a gas war? Am I gonna get it? I don't know. And the idea that you could set this up, set the gas that you wanna pay. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. Um, and these tools will just help you kind of actually get something out of the uh, the NFT space without having to kind of be glued to the computer. And this, I'm a big fan of this. I'm a big fan of tools that can like essentially take you off the stress that is kind of being deep in the NFTs and actually kind of just getting the trades that you want done. Um, and it also lets you kind of pre-think all of this. The auto bidding aspects, um, for me myself, I can see use in it, but I don't usually bid um, like that, but I can see it kind of working out quite well when uh, there are a particular set of circumstances that you actually want to hit and achieve. So that is a kind of rundown about this tool. I've got links below to Cyberbox, how it all kind of works. Um, I've also spoken to the founder um, and we're actually, I'm actually gonna be doing a giveaway so at some point on twitter i'm going to be doing a sort of three whitelist giveaway for cyberbox so that's cool but saying that the mint price is close to that that two ETH mark, which is quite large. So I don't think this will kind of suit someone's very new to the market that doesn't have a lot of liquidity. I think this is 
a pro tool. This is a tool for someone that is uh, kind of skilled and has the ETH to actually deploy because if you're spending two ETH on this tool, um, you wanna be making really good trades, really good decisions and actually kind of making it worth worth your while. And the same thing with the subscription. If you're spending sort of 0 0.4, 0 0.5 ETH, you wanna be making sure you're getting a lot out of it and getting a good run from it. So if you found value in this video, please consider hitting up that subscribe button while you're down there. Also hit up the like button. As always, it's been a pleasure having you with me. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.